like to do is uh, show you how to find the domain of a problem like this. Now, domain is very tricky um, with us, and one thing when we're finding domain, a couple things we need to think about. Um, remember, a function is uh, when you have an input value and you're able to find an output value. And that's what we say is for it is defined for an output value, meaning if you put an input value in, you're going to get an output value. So there are a couple instances though, however, when we plug in an input value and there is no output value. For instance, let's just say I did f of x. And if I did 3 over x, well, the only value that this does not work for is when x is equal to 0. Because when x equals 0, I have 3 divided by 0. And you cannot divide 0 into a number. So therefore, we write x cannot equal 0. So the domain for this function, if I was going to write the domain, it's going to be all real numbers. It's all numbers, negative 5, negative 13, 107. All numbers work except for 0. So when we're trying to find the domain of a rational uh, function, what we want to do is we want to find out what values make it 0 on the bottom. So here I have a quadratic expression. So I need to figure out x squared plus 8x plus 15 equals 0. I want to figure out what values can I find for x that are going to make this function 0. So when we have a quadratic, um, it's a little bit difficult. It's not like a regular linear equation where you can just solve for x. We're going to have to do some type of um, either squaring or factoring. Since I have two x's, I know that I'm going to want to do factoring. So what type of factoring do I want to do? Well, um, here my a is equal to 1, b is equal to 8, and c is equal to 15. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just take my 8 times c, which is 1 times 15, and I'll take my b, which is 8. And I'm just going to systematically think of what two numbers multiply to give me 15, but add to give me 8. And those answers are going to be 3 and 5. So therefore, I can factor this to be x plus 3 times x plus 5 equals 0. And if I was to FOIL this back out, I would get this expression. Now, either one of these multiplied to give me 0. So therefore, one of these has to be 0. So you can say x plus 3 equals 0, or x plus 5 equals 0. Therefore, if I subtract 3, if x is equal to a negative 3, this problem equals 0. Or if x is equal to a negative 5, this problem is equal to 0. So if you were to plug in negative 3 into there, you would get 0. If you were to plug in a negative 5 into this equation, you would get 0. So therefore, my domain for this problem is going to be all real numbers except x cannot equal a negative 3 and a 5. So when you're finding the domain, especially with the rational expression, you want to see what numbers can't we use. And the numbers we can't use are the numbers that are going to make our denominator zero.